Geneva might be considered one of the smallest financial capitals in the world, but it's among the leaders when it comes to financial trading and offshore asset management. Besides private Geneva bankers, it's also home to branches of the biggest international financial institutions. Until recently, not many questions were asked when rich clients brought their money to these classy addresses to avoid the tax authorities. Business was thriving until data theft cases, like the one involving HSBC, brought the extent of tax dodging to the surface. For Yves Mirabeau, president of the bank bearing his name, data thief Hervé Falciani shouldn't be considered the person who buried banking secrecy. The real reason was the desire of countries to look for new sources of income as a consequence of the 2008 financial crisis to cover their own deficits. Because of the zeal of the states in need, everything went much faster than bankers and tax specialists could have ever expected. We were all taken aback. In 2009, bankers believed if they handed over information upon request, they wouldn't be troubled again for another 10 to 15 years. But what happened afterwards was a tsunami. And as a result, we now have the automatic exchange of information in place. These changes have left their mark on Geneva as a financial centre. In 2005, there were 145 active banks, and today there are only 119. It's worth noting that over the same period, the number of employees in the sector has increased from 16,644 to 18,855. This is a consequence of the fact that it's now more demanding to check the tax history of clients. Nonetheless, the new clean money policy hasn't led to a drop in the amount of assets under management. Geneva's reputation remains intact. There is more money flowing in than out. The number of managed assets went up, despite the difficult situation on the markets, despite the decision of the National Bank to remove the franc peg to the euro, which was a big blow to our clients. In spite of everything, we're seeing an upward trend. Geneva as a financial centre was shaken by the HSBC affair, but thanks to the radical change of course, it's maintained its leading position in asset management.